Today we are talking about the percent proportion. So we can find some percents or other parts of percents by using a proportional statement. And so when in our introduction today with our real world link on monster trucks, we talked about how the tires are two tons out of the total or the whole of the truck, which the total ton for the trucks is six tons. And so we can write that as a uh, ratio uh, but then let's review that a ratio with a denominator of 100 represents a percent. So if we have 80%, that's 80 over 100. Which brings us into our percent proportion. The percent proportion is the comparison of one ratio to another that is an equivalent percentage. So what does that mean? We can take, for example, we have 4 out of 5 is 80%. We should know that by some of the previous things we've done, like our bar diagrams, in which we know 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, that there are five pieces, and so four of those pieces makes 80%, because 4 times 20 is 80%. But say we didn't know that for more complicated problems, we can take our part, which is 4, out of the whole, which is a total of 5, and set that equal to a percentage but we can represent that percentage as a ratio, a fraction, 80 over the total 100. There are three different questions you may be asked in order to use this percent proportion. Depends on what they want you to look for. It may be that they're asking for what that percentage is, so find the percent. It may ask you to find the part, or it may ask you to find the whole. In every situation, it depends on what they're asking for is what you're going to write and fill in and solve for. All right? So it says what percent, so I know I'm looking for the percent. What number is 80%? This may be confusing because you might think that 5 is the part, but it actually shows you that the number is 80%. Well, 80% is not the whole, so the number has to be across from the 80%. So across from the 80% is that part. And then over here, 4 is 80%. So again, 4 is across from the 80% of what number? And so I now know that that number that I'm looking for is the whole. Finally, we can apply that to some other real-world topics like some of my favorites, the gorillas. So the average adult male western low land gorilla eats about 33.5 pounds of fruit each day. How much food does the average adult male gorilla eat each day? Well, how do I set that up? Well, first of all, identify some of the key parts of my word problem. I see that there are 33.5 pounds of fruit, but if I look over here in this chart, I see that fruit only makes up 67 percent. So that's not a total. That's a part. And so I want to put the 33.5 on top. And then if I look at the rest of the question, it says, how much food? Well, food includes all of this, which would be the total. So that's what I'm looking for, the whole. And then I know that that 33.5 for the fruit is equivalent to that 67% given to me in the diagram, in the table. And I can put that over the total of 100%. And then I can use the cross products that we've learned earlier this year and solve and simplify. In which case, when I solve for W, I get 50 pounds of food.